Hello everyone. Um, it is Tuesday, March 17th. This is probably my last video of the day. Um, this chapter will have a special guest as well. This is my hedgehog, Jeb. Um, hedgehogs are nocturnal, um, which means that they are mostly active at night and they sleep during the day so this is pretty much the middle of the night for her so she's a little extra grumpy um but she does still have a fun time doing our read aloud with us she might just sleep a bunch i also have some snacks for her um in case she you know just to keep her happy um this is chapter three it's called recess and um in this chapter maria's feelings are conflicted when you're conflicted, you can't decide between very different things or very different feelings. Like a lot of times when we have breaks, I feel conflicted because I like to sleep in and I like to spend some time with these little animals. Um, but I also feel sad because, you know, I get bored. Um, so we're going to figure out in this chapter why Maria feels conflicted about her new school. I'm going to set up my phone on my easel. There we go. Okay. I'm going to have my little, my little hoglet. Let's see if she'll eat some snacks with us. She eats cat food um, because in the wild she would be an omnivore. She would eat um, plants as well as insects. So um, cat food actually has the right kind of nutrients for her. There you go. She's a little baby. She's curling up a bit because she's scared. She's not super relaxed. She doesn't really like loud noises, so my read aloud voice is probably a little too loud for her. All right, chapter three, recess. When the bell rang for recess, Maria Isabel waited for the rest of the kids to leave the class first. She wanted to see what they were going to do. Maria Isabel had started school in Puerto Rico. Then, when her family moved to the mainland, she had started going to another school. She's eating. Her classes there had been in Spanish, and Maria Isabel had liked her teachers very much. Miss Herrera, who taught second grade, always praised her for her math, and she started to teach Maria Isabel English. Maria Isabel especially liked Miss Peralliade, um, her third grade teacher, who read wonderful stories and would teach the class outdoors on warm, sunny days. Maria Isabel missed her old friends. She didn't know anyone at this new school yet, so she just walked behind the other kids until they reached the schoolyard and stood in a corner once she got there. After a few minutes, Marta Perez came over and took her by the hand. Come on, let's go jump rope, Marta said, tugging on Maria Isabel's arm. Maria Isabel hesitated and Marta tugged again. Come on, she urged. Maria Isabel followed Marta to the middle of the yard when she held, where she held one end of the rope, the jump rope as the girl in plaid jumped up and down. The rhythm of the jump rope as it brushed the ground was soothing. It reminded Maria Isabel of her grandmother Chabela's rocking chair, the one her grandmother would rock her to sleep in, or of the ebb and flow of the waves in front of her grandfather Antonio's house. The waves would generally would gently roll up the beach in the small bay and wash over the sand where the fishing nets were drying on top of the boats. Maria Isabel loved that beach. She loved to go out for a walk early in the morning, picking up treasures the sea had left behind the night before, shells that looked like mother of pearl, bits of white coral, maybe even a sand dollar or two. And she liked to go swimming at midday, jumping in the waves and playing with the sea spray, feeling the coolness of the clear water beneath the hot sun. Go on, it's your turn, the girl in plaid shouted to Maria Isabel, bringing her back from her daydream. No, no, she answered in a low voice. Not, not now. Maria Isabel didn't want the other girls to think she didn't know how to jump rope, but her knee still hurt from her fall. The girl in plaid jumped into the middle again. Maria Isabel thought it would be great to get in the middle and let the ropes go back and forth over and under me, my feet wouldn't touch the rope even once. But she didn't think that she would be able to jump well with her hurt knee. And soon the bell rang, recess was over. Maria Isabel followed the two other girls. 
They hadn't spoken much, and she didn't know the name of the girl in the plaid, but they had asked her to jump with them. Tomorrow, when her knee didn't hurt so much, she would show them how well she could jump. And as she limped slightly back to class, Maria Isabel thought this new school wasn't going to be so bad after all, if only her teacher would not insist on calling her Mary. Okay, so that's the end of chapter three. Little Jeb has had a nice little snack. She woke up a tiny bit, just a little bit, and she'll probably want to burrow into her blanket and go back to sleep now that we're done. Oh. There she is. Oh, is that yummy? Yeah. She's pretty cute. Okay. Uh, I will make more videos tomorrow uh, once you guys start getting to actually see them um, on Wednesday. And uh, I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.